today on CWN, Ms. Burkert had another lab. And are you going to go to the Colton Walk tomorrow? I'm Maddie. And I'm Lexi. And today is Friday, March 22nd, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Ms. Burkhart started another lab over waves. We caught up with her to see what it's all about. Hey, Cass, I'm here with Ms. Burkhart. So, Ms. Burkhart, I heard you're doing a lab. Can you tell me more about it? Yes, we're just starting to study waves, and so they're getting to explore waves with slinkies, and we're really trying to figure out how they can find the speed of the wave and what things affect the speed. Okay, thank you. To end Texas Public School Week, we caught up with Mr. Smith to see why he decided to become a teacher. Let's take it to him. More on Cats in Celebration of Texas Public School Week. I'm here with Mr. Smith. So tell me, why did you become a teacher? Uh, I really love talking about ideas with people. I really love getting people to learn things. And I just love uh, knowing things and conveying those ideas to other people, especially students. What was your craziest, craziest experience as a teacher? Let's see, I had a lab blow up one time, uh, spewed nitric acid fumes all over the lab, but nobody was seriously injured because we had our lab coats on, we had our goggles on, and all our safety equipment was being used. Thank you for the interview. And with that, back to the studio. Thank you. Emma spoke to Ms. Dietrich to get some information for the Colton Walk for Suicide Awareness. Here's, here she is with all the information. Hey, Kat, I'm Emma, and I'm here with Ms. Dietrich. So, Ms. Dietrich, y'all have the Colton Walk this Saturday morning. Can you tell me more about that, please? Sure, sure, I'd be glad to. We had a great young man that came through here, Colton Page, and Colton was a good old boy. He liked his cowboy boots, his blue jeans, his belt buckle, and he loved the cowboy hat. He liked to go hunting and fishing, and he loved his baseball. When Colton unfortunately passed away due to suicide after he graduated, and his parents, Randy and Karen Page, have made it their goal in life is to draw an awareness to suicide. And so what, what Colton's walk is to raise money for a scholarship that they give in his name to an outstanding senior. But they also, in fact, is that we can all come together to walk and to really reflect to see how we can, in fact, help teenagers. It's going to be Saturday morning at 8.15 till 10.30. Just come. If you want to walk, great. If you don't want to walk, great. We just come and hang out. It is a powerful morning. It's an opportunity for us to, in fact, help each other and encourage each other. So it's at the middle school track. So it's Saturday morning. Be there by... About 8.15, you can bring your coffee, your water. Well, actually, we're going to have water. Interact's providing 100 bottles of water, so I'll make sure that you get one. But let's go together and work on it. Colton's Promise is something that was started, and it is designed to the fact that each of you are needed. We are going to have you here tomorrow. We want you here tomorrow. And so that is a promise, is that you are needed, and we need you every day, and we need you tomorrow. Well, that's really great. Y'all should come out. Thank you. Thank and you. back to the studio. Coach Ashburn's class started a new project over March Madness in which they create a bracket of all the colleges. Good morning, Colin. So I'm here with Coach Ashburn. So, Coach Ashburn, I know you have a project over March Madness right now. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's March Madness right now, which is the men's uh, basketball tournament for college. And what we're doing in class for day and tomorrow is where everyone gets a bracket of all 68 teams and they get a map of the United States. So what we're doing is we're looking up where all these colleges are located and plot mapping them on the United States map and kind of get some, uh, some data about where these teams are coming from. And more importantly, who do you have going all the way in your bracket this year? I'd like to say A&M, but they're probably going to lose to Houston in the second round and then Houston's going to beat uh, UNC in the national championship. Thank you. That's all from us and back to the studios. Coach Spencer also started a new geography project over March Madness and the location of the colleges. Let's see how it's going. Good morning, Wildcats. Today I'm here with Coach Spencer. Coach Spencer, can you tell me more about the March Madness project? Yeah, so I um, actually stole this from Coach Ashburn next door because um, we both teach geography. So uh, what we're doing is essentially 
March Madness starts today, the big NCAA National Championship Basketball Tournament. And so our kids are having to uh, use a map to locate um, and label and identify where each college is located at. Uh, and, and, and label them and whatnot. So uh, it's a cool way for those kids to learn about new colleges. And there's 68 total um, in the uh, in the tournament and, and where they're at. And you know maybe they see their name and uh, see one of the names of those colleges. Look it up later and decide they want to go there. So uh, just a cool way to incorporate uh, something that's going on with our curriculum. All right, back to the studio. We spoke to Mrs. Lines to see why the printers were down and how they fixed them. Let's check it out. Good morning, Cassie and Ms. Lyons. Ms. Lyons, the printers are down for the past two days. Can you tell me what that is? So basically, if the printer is a network printer, it all goes into one main server, which controls everybody being able to print. So everything is funneled into one um, hard piece of hardware, and then it goes back out. So the server went down meaning everything was going to the server but then nothing was going back out to actually be printed. Um, if you had a printer that was directly connected to your computer you were still good to go but um, the network servers were down. Uh, can you tell me what the cause of that was and how you all fixed that? Well, I have no idea. I called technology. They came over and worked on it for a couple days and they got them back up and running. Thank you for your interview. And with that, back to the studio. How was that? What's playing at Movies, Inc.? Well, if you want to know, we have it. Here is this week's edition of the Movie Playlist. Hey, cats. Movies, Inc. is showing a new selection of movies, including the following. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, Arthur the King, and Kung Fu Panda 4. In Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the Spegler family returns to where it all started, the iconic New York City firehouse, to team up with the original Ghostbusters, who developed a top-secret research lab to an ancient artifact unleashes an army of ghosts that cast death chills upon the city. Ghostbusters new and old must join forces to protect their home and save the world from a second ice age. Check out these movies this weekend at Movies Inc. Now back to the anchors. It's time for Studio 361. Let's find out what's happening in our local area. Hey cats, welcome back to Studio 361. Your weekend activity plug this Saturday. There is a pickle fest at Noasis Brewing and Barbecue. It will be a delightful time with pickle beer, local vendors selling pickle things. This event will start at 11.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'm not really a big pickle fan, but I'll take to check it out. For Easter, we have an egg hunt by the bay at the Great Lawn. Bring your friends and family to a fun celebration of Jesus' rebirth with games, food trucks, and of course an egg hunt with over 15,000 eggs filled with treats and prizes. This event will start at noon and end at 2 p.m. On the topic of eggs, there is an egg decorating at the Alamo Draft House starting at 10.30 a.m., $5 per person. If you enjoy Rage Against the Machine, Come check out Testify playing at House of Rock at 7 p.m. They'll be playing a tribute concert for Rage Against the Machine. If you love Metallica, Hardwired Kill em All is playing a tribute concert for Metallica at the Brewster Street Ice House on Saturday at 8.30 p.m. If you are a country fan, Dylan Scott is playing at the Brewster Street Ice House this Friday. Tickets range from $42 to $51. This Sunday, for the first time in program history, the Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders women's basketball team made the March Madness Tournament and they will be playing the USC Trojans March 21st at 1.30 p.m. This Saturday and Sunday we have the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks live glow party with a laser light show and toy giveaway plus a special appearance from the high flyers of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Live free motocross team. Tickets will be $30 for adults and $19 for children. That's, That's all, all from us. us. Now, now back, back to the, the anchors. anchors. Now let's send it to Cali with Wildcat Media. Thank you, Anchors, and welcome back to Wildcat Media. The class of 2024 is having a rummage sale tomorrow in the parking lot at CHS from 8.30 to 3 p.m., and the sale is going to benefit Project Graduation, so if you have time, come out, browse, and buy something, because it's going to a great cause for our seniors. Now that's all for me. Back to the Anchors. Thank you, Callie. Now let's send it to Maddie with the run on sports right after this quick break. Hey cats, this is just a reminder, if you're here after 8.30, you are counted tardy. It is not the office's job to remind you that you have lunch D-Hall. You have to remember that yourself. Thank you, that's all from us, and back to the studio. Thank you, Lexi, and good morning, Wildcats. Hayden spoke to Coach Hernser to see how our pole vaulters are doing. Let's take it to him for more. I'm here with Coach Hernser, the varsity track coach. So I know you coach pole vault, so you can, can you tell me more about that? Uh, yeah, I have a pretty good uh, pole vault team this year. Uh, this is the first year, I think, since 2014. Uh, I've had a full pole vault team. In other words, I have a full varsity squad for boys and girls, and a full varsity or a full uh, JV squad for boys and girls also. Um, 
a really good team this year. I think our girls have a chance to go first, second, and third at district. Uh, that's realistic. Uh, Cadence Mathis is our number one vaulter right now. Um, she's just outside of making it to state uh, where she's at. So, I mean, if, if she gets a little bit better, she has a realistic chance to go to state this year as long as she has a good day at regionals. Um, my other two varsity vaulters this year are uh, Aubrey Green and Tyler Boyd, a uh, freshman, talented freshman, got from the soccer team. Aubrey's been there with me a couple years now, uh, getting better every year. Um, on my boys' side, I have uh, Braden Alexander, a varsity boy, and then uh, Eli uh, Alexander also has come on, and he actually uh, got – uh, he scored highest for our team, at least at the last meet we were in. And then uh, Walker Arnold came out from uh, the golf team, and he's helped us out a bunch this year, too. Uh, and then, again, like I said, my JV squad is full. I have a bunch of JV kids out there working hard every day, getting better. Some of them I just pulled out. They just started. But uh, on the boys' and the girls' side, pole vault's going really well. And I really hope that, you know, like I said, we, we make a good chance, uh, take a lot of – I have a good chance, I think, to take six people, all three varsity, boys and girls, too area this year and then from there we go to regionals and like I said hopefully if we get one or two to state that would be awesome. Okay thank you now back to the studio. We caught up with coach Lentz to get some information on tonight's softball game in TM and how they've been preparing for it. Hey Katz today I'm here with coach Lentz so can you tell me how your district play has been so far? Um, it's been really good we are 2-0 and right now we've started off with Alice and we did really good against them and um, Tuesday night we faced Bishop and had a our first home game of the season um, for district and that was fun we, we did well against them and and uh, you know uh, just excited and try to keep things rolling yes and also y'all are facing team tonight can you tell me how you prepared for that uh, yeah we we've we've uh, gone through their lineup trying to see who does what and trying to prepare our best I know the pitchers have done the same um, just trying to get um, a good feel for what they're going to bring to the game. And it's always going to be a tough game with TM. Um, and so we're just trying to make sure we're mentally prepared for that. Well, good luck, girls. That's all from us. Now back to the studio. So, Kerrigan, will you be going to the TM game tonight? Yes, of course. I'll be in a duckout with the girls. That's amazing. We also spoke to Yanelli to see when cheer tryouts are starting. Let's take it to her with all the information. Hi, I'm Roxy. I'm here with Yanelli. Yanelli, I heard that y'all have cheer tryouts coming soon. Uh, can you tell me when that is? Uh, we have cheer tryouts next week. Um, we have the clinic Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday is a mock tryout and Thursday is a tryout. And there are no requirements, and freshmen this year can make varsity. So hopefully, like, everyone comes out if you want to try out. And, yeah. That's amazing. And I hope y'all get a lot of people to try out. And that's all from me. Back to the studio. Hayden spoke to Coach Gonzalez and Coach Shagoda to get a quick update on track. Let's take it to them. I'm here with Coach Gonzalez, a varsity track coach. So, Coach, can you talk to me how Discus did yesterday? Uh, yes, Discus went very well yesterday for us. Um, our boys competed well in the rain, in the wet rain. Uh, I think we overcame adversity through well. Uh, we had several PRs. Uh, we're getting better. Our girls did as, uh, good as well. They, uh, they competed very well, a little bit rainy still. Uh, but we we did good. Our softball girls um, came out for the second meet, and they threw a lot better than they did the first meet. So we're getting better, getting ready for district, and, and hopefully the area and regional meets. I'm here with Coach Shagoda, the varsity uh, track coach. So Coach, can you tell me how the meet went yesterday? Uh, we went to Beeville yesterday and competed. Um, we're trying to do some final, I guess you can say, fine-tuning, getting ready for the district meet in two weeks. Um, runners did very well. They went out and competed hard and, and – uh, so we've got one more time to go out and try to fine tune everything for our relays and things in Port Lavaca next Thursday. So uh, that's, uh, that's how we did. Okay, thank you. Now back to the studio. Attention all Callan High School athletes. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be holding their monthly huddle on Monday, March 25th from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in the B-Gym. Be there. And that's the latest on Callan Sports. Back to you, anchors. Thank you, Maddie. Now it's time for your weather report with Candace right after this quick break. Hey, Wildcats, make sure we're leaving a bit early because we never know when the traffic lights will be out and back to the studio. Thank you, anchors, and good morning, Wildcats. Today's weather is brought to you by Bay Tech Robinson's families. Happy Friday, everyone. Past couple of days here in South Texas, we've been looking pretty gloomy in the weather, but looking into yesterday afternoon, we see a little forecast of what we're looking at to today's weather. We're looking at some beautiful sunshine and also looking at those temperatures being pretty high today. Looking at a high of 78 degrees, we're looking at some beautiful sunshine, 0% chance of rain, and the winds blowing from the west, 11 miles per hour. Looking currently at our radar right now here in our area, we're looking at no rain activity in our, especially our area and surrounding areas as well. 
well for today and also the next couple of days. We're looking at that beautiful sunshine making an appearance for the next couple of days as well. Looking into the forecast for today, we're looking at the highs of the 80s, 86 at 2, into a low of the 70s and 71 later on today at tonight. Looking at percent chance of rain, also staying at a consistent 0%. Looking at that sunshine later on until sundown. And we're also looking at a high of winds at 15 miles per hour from the west northwest at 2, and dropping down to 8 miles per hour from the north northeast later on tonight. Looking further on into this weekend's weather, we're looking at some beautiful weather to go outside and do those outdoor activities, getting to the highs of the 70s. Looking on Monday, looking into a high of 80, 0% chance of rain until Monday at 30%, and then the wind's just fluctuating. Perfect time to go do the outdoor activities uh, today, especially with that rubbish sale and also Colton's promise tomorrow. Also, with that countdown, we have nine days until Easter. Dolphin weather, have a great one, and back to the anchors. Thank you, Candace. Yes, of course. And that's all your announcements for today, but now it's time for your joke of the day. So, guys, what kind of animal cleans the sea? I don't know, Lexi. What? A mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> for all you social people out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at Con TV for all the latest updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And as always, stay, stay classy, Cal Island. Island.